Even life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> Shout out to New York again. I don't know why, but I feel like this week should be all New York uh, street vendor or popular dishes of New York. What do you guys think about that? So this is my twist, my take, my copycat recipe of New York chicken and rice or street corner chicken and rice. I don't know. Street corner chicken and rice. Don't blink. Euro meat. So I got two pounds of beef here. Next, half a pound of ground lamb. A tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, one tablespoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of dry thyme, quarter teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, or a little more because I love paprika, guys. Don't come at me with that. <laughs> one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one teaspoon of basil, one tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of bacon powder, a cup of water, a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Get right into it, guys. Get into it very well. Take that beautiful mixture, throw it into our bread loaf. Oven preheat at 420, and we're gonna throw this in for about 45 to one hour. Next, chicken marinade. I got two pounds of boneless chicken here. Half a tablespoon of pepper, one tablespoon of garlic. I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of salt, one whole lemon juice, two tablespoon of olive oil, quarter teaspoon of basil, quarter teaspoon of cumin, one tablespoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one tablespoon of paprika, half a tablespoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of dry thyme. Get into it, guys. I'm gonna let this marinate for two to three hours minimum. Next, let's do a beautiful chopped salad. So in this bowl, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, half tablespoon of salt, half tablespoon of pepper, got dry basil here, do a teaspoon of this going in, a teaspoon of thyme. Got a lemon here, squeeze in half of this juice here. Nothing to this, mix this in. So I got some old, maybe rotten, <laughs> green peppers here. Nice and chunky, into the pool. Red pepper here, simple, easy. Chop salad into the pool. Cherry tomatoes, which got nice to chop. Just throw them in. Chop this up to you. Anything can go in this vinaigrette here. Just use your imagination. I got red pepper here, or a red pepper. Ow! 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 All right, guys. Don't be reckless like me. All right. Don't be reckless like me. The knife is sharp. <laughs> Very sharp. My knife dealer hooked it up. <laughs> Guys, please be careful. So I'm gonna clean this, sanitize this, and we'll start all over. Clean and sanitize. Guys, again, don't be reckless like me. Watch your fingers, all right? Watch it. Do it again. Tuck your fingers. Slip there. Keep them nice and chunky. Got a cucumber. I'll just take half of this. Chop this up. To the pool. Next, I got an iceberg mix. I'll just take a quarter of this. I think that's the worst thing ever, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Chopping your finger or slicing your finger and wearing a band aid. Mix this in. There it is. Easy peasy chopped salad. Pita bread. So I got one cup of warm water here, one tablespoon of dry yeast. See this beautiful yeast? We got that good old sugar. One tablespoon of it. Mix that in and let this yeast activate. You guys see all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated, two cups of flour going in, teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil. Take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Get into it, guys. Get into it really well. And all we're looking for, come on, we know this, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making pita bread. We know this, remember? <laughs> Once you got your dough nice and rolled out, all we're gonna do, cover this, let it proof for 40 minutes. All right, so I got one liter of chicken stock low sodium here. I'm gonna throw in one cup of water. So guys, semi-boiling guys, I got some saffron here. Use all the saffron here. Throw into my water. Take my strainer, I'm gonna strain all, all of this saffron flour here. Once I got the saffron flour all nice and strained out, I got a club of butter here. Four cups of long grain rice here. Once so I got a nice boil on this, I'm gonna turn down the heat to a low. Throw on my lid, I don't really have a lid for this, so I have to make a lid for this, but it's all good. There you go, cover this. And do not open this for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right, I lied to you guys. I'm taking this out at 35 minutes in, guys. Got my chicken here. Put this in for about 20 to 25 minutes. 40 minutes in, dough has proof. A little flour on the counter. Take out my dough here. Guys, watch closely. Haters, you guys watch closely, all right? You guys always hating on me about this. Like, it's fake and stuff. Like, come on now. Does this look fake? Karate chop? Where in that frame was this fake, guys? Where? <laughs> Take this, fold it under like this, just to make a nice little ball. Once you got a nice little ball, one more flour in my hand, flatten it. Then I'm gonna 
beat it out like this. Take this and roll it out. I just got a nice even circle all around. Throw it to the side. Time to fry this up. A tablespoon of olive oil going in. On goes our pita bread. And we're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes on each side. Two to three minutes on each side complete. Take them out. Just beautiful. Last few things. Chopping our chicken and our shawarma. Or our shawarma. Oh, this is shawarma. We gotta chop the gyro. So I want the gyro a little chunky. Guys, check that out. Do you guys see that? <laughs> you see that juice in there? Just beautiful. So I want this a little chunky. Oh, that's perfectly cooked. I kind of overcooked my chicken, but this gyro meat here, did I say gyro? I apologize if I say guile, but this gyro meat here is juicy. QT gang, raise your hand up high if you guys want a plate or a takeout box. Raise them high guys, come on, let me see it. <laughs> All right, first things first. Got that saffron rice there. That's hot. <laughs> All right. Beautiful saffron rice. Do you guys want double meat or just one meat? You guys just want veggies? All right then. <laughs> just kidding. The vegans out there. Shout out to the vegans. This and this. And maybe some of this. For you guys, all right? But this one's a meat one. So I got some chicken here for you guys. Uh, some gyro meat. Best gyro meat you guys ever pop in your mouth, I promise you. And we got our salad. And lastly, there it is. Guys, ow, ow, wait. That burns. Freshly, homemade, my twist, my take, my copycat recipe for the New York style street food chicken and rice. When are you guys gonna come by? Quick time guys. Let's finally get into this guys. My Mediterranean New York copycat recipe style my twist my take on you know what this is a shawarma bowl. <laughs> That's what it is. A shawarma and doner bowl. Alright let's get into this guys. I'm starving. I'm tired. Guys, there you go. All right, here it is. Help me eat the salad. The salad's probably the best salad you guys ever pop in your mouth, I promise you. Quick time. Yeah, it's got it. Nice, I'm pumped for this. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Saffron rice. Quick time, guys. It's got it. Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. What can I really say about this, guys? It's truly amazing. Guys, the Euro meat, like that. Yes. I want to say this I tweaked the recipe a bit. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Last euro recipe I made was one pound of lamb. I ain't gonna lie, it was delicious, but In my opinion, it was a little more gamey than I expected it to be. Mmm. This is beautiful. Mmm. -hmm.
everything here you guys see, I've got the bread. It's freshly homemade. Make this for your family. All of this, wait, I'll show you. I got one, two. I think I got six boxes of food here. Pack. Mmm. The cost to make all of this I think it was forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. I want to say sometimes the bad thing about buying boneless chicken without you doing or all the cleaning is that sometimes they miss little shards of bone. You know what? It's not their fault. It's my fault. My fault for not looking. It's easy to point the fingers. It's so easy to point the finger. I caught myself there. See that? Don't blame people for your problem. Mm hmm. You can get a plate like this, but less. At a shawarma shop or a Lebanese Turkish shop. With two meats. Mm. Mm. For about, I'll say the price range from 13 to $16. But it's never packed like this. I was gonna do a sauce on top, but good to guys. I forgot to buy the yogurt. I apologize, guys.
but this on over already. It's so bomb. Mm. Quan Tran hooked me up with the meats in this. Probably the best place to get one of these Mediterranean bowl. Mm -hmm. Cause that Quan's, he's giving you double meat for the price of one. <laughs> it's beautiful. I didn't even ask for it. He just hooked me up. Maybe because I was Asian and he was Asian, I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, I gotta save this for tonight. Sunshine of life! Sunshine of life! Sunshine of life! You need a haircut, kitty. You need a haircut. Let me push it out. You need a haircut, kitty. This little brat here. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to cut it up for you? Okay, I'll cut it up for you, little brat. Yeah. This little brat. <laughs> you like it? Hmm? Yummy? Mm. My little sunshine, huh, kitty? Are you the sunshine of life, kitty? Huh? This little brat. You like such a beautiful thing, don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food lines, a beautiful thing. Shit! Alright, pop one, like, share. Peace out.